In this video tutorial, we'll explain how to place multiple pins on a Google Map. This feature can be achieved with the Maps Advanced item available in the Muffin Builder. First, log into your WordPress dashboard and go to B-Theme, Theme Options. Click on Global and select the Advanced submenu item. Here you will find the Google Maps API key field. You will need to paste your API key in this field to use the advanced features of Google Maps. If you don't have one, please visit the Google Maps platform to generate it. Links will be available in the video description. To insert an advanced map on a page, we'll use the Muffin Builder. Edit any page you want and add the Maps Advanced items to a wrap. You can use the search feature to make things easier. After that, edit the item to modify the settings. The first two fields are the latitude and longitude of your primary map marker. The following fields allow the user to set the zoom distance and the height of the map. Moving on to the next section, we can see the visual options of the map. You can set the type as a plain map, terrain, satellite, or even satellite plus map. The next option lets you set how many controls will be enabled for your map. By default, the only option is zoom, but you can modify this to your desired look. The draggable option allows moving the map with a simple click and hold on a desktop or a finger swipe on mobile devices. You can also set if you want to show a map border. The next option is the marker icon. Choose an image from your media library to replace the default map marker. This is the marker you have inserted the longitude and latitude for in the previous steps. The map color option is a fun way to adapt the map to your website color scheme. If you want more advanced coloring options, use the text area below. Here you can paste a predefined style or create your own. We suggest using the Snazzy Maps website to generate the predefined style code. Links available in the description. Okay, now we arrive at the most important option, additional markers. To add any number of map markers besides the primary marker, you need to use this method. Insert the latitude, longitude, and the map marker icon URL, all separated with a comma. If you want to add the next map marker, place a semicolon and repeat the previous step. The last option lets you create a contact box on the map or above it with all the necessary information. This option is static and will not change for additional map markers. Okay, since we're all done, we will hit save and update the page. Let's see how our map looks like. Great! We can see the primary map marker with the desired icon and all of the additional map markers that we have inserted. Google allows you to create very complex maps that, with the help of the Muffin Builder, are easy and fun to do. Thanks for watching, and remember that if you have any questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.